When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. What's going on, YouTube? Now, I know it's been a minute since I posted a video on the channel. I'm sweating, I just gotta work out in. Uh, just, I'll just be running around the block. I'll work out like three or four days out of the week. Um, and I have the um, program coming out, the Ultimate Athlete Home Edition program coming out. But enough of all that talk. Today's discussion is sincerely about is it worth it to claim natural for any whatever benefits that you have in the fitness industry. And, you know, personally, you know, I've been doing fitness for, what, 14 years now. Um, and I'm 28. Been doing this for 14 years. Um, you know, ever since I was 14, pretty much, you know, that's, that's kind of when I started working out, you know, for real, for real from sports, football and stuff like that. And I came into this industry thinking that I would have an edge pretty much, um, cause you know, fitness industry, I mean, majority of everybody is not natural. And especially if you're a big name and you built a brand for yourself. Majority of people are going to think you're not natural and you just kind of let them think what they want to. And the sad thing about it is no matter how much you do, how much you prove, people are still going to 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 come out and pretty much say, you know, hey, like, look, bro, you know what I'm saying? There's no way it's genetically possible to do what you do naturally, which I think is kind of stupid because you can't put your, your parents on the same level or same level as mine, whether it's over or under, you know what I'm saying? My parents might be genetically gifted body-wise better than your parents. Your parents may be smarter, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're like, I hate when people talk like shit's even, you know what I'm saying? And even if I, like, even if, how do I say this? It, it doesn't even matter if somebody is natural. And that, 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 is, that doesn't mean that, oh, you have the chance of making it work for yourself. That, that If I'm a black guy built like this, lifting like this, and you're, I mean, a white guy, a Chinese guy, Asian guy, you know what I'm saying? Just because I'm natural doesn't mean you can accomplish the same shit that I, that I have. You know, because on top of that, I've been brought up on on some on some farm, you know, what I'm saying on some farm shit like I've been doing labor work since a child, since I was before I was even a teenager. I've been doing labor work. So that counts as how my growth has developed in, you know, to, to, to now. I mean, like, look, here's a physical photo. Matter of fact, here's a photo of here right now when I was in track. This is seventh grade. And it, it kind of dawned on me. My, my sister sent me this. And I looked back and I was like, wow, this photo is me in seventh grade. This is track. I look, you already see the muscle definition and everything, seventh grade. I'm like, how, however old you're supposed to be in seventh grade. That's how old I am in this photo. West Junior High in Dallas, Texas, Richardson, Texas. And years ago. Now, if I already looked like that years ago, before I even took fitness like hella serious, and then I get to now. It only makes sense, you know, for my strength, how my body's developed. And I don't even eat like super correctly. I could be a lot more cut up and in shape and ripped. Um, but I, you know, I like to live freely. I like to, you know, slack on my diet a little bit um, just because I like to enjoy life. You know, gaming, the food. I love food. You know what I'm saying? So, and I've kind of gotten away with being able to eat the things that I've eaten and still keep some type of formation in my body to where I still look good. But, um, hold on. But, um, that being said, it's just like, um, going back to, you know, I thought I was gonna come into this industry as, you know, straightforward, I'm a natural lifter, you know what I'm saying? I do everything, I haven't taken anything, you know, I compete against the guys that take stuff, that that have, have went through all this shit for their body to be broken down just to look good or be stronger and stuff like that. And I said, I'm gonna be on, I'm gonna be somewhere around that level, if not better, or, you know, just slightly under. Cause there are some people that just take gear that I just can't compete with. And then there's some people that do take gear that I can still blow out of the water, look-wise and strength-wise. Not everybody's meant 
to be a certain way. Like, even if you take gear, that don't mean you won't look good or you're going to be dumb strong. You know what I'm saying? Because I know people that take gear and there's always that guy that takes something and you don't know that he takes something because he's, he really doesn't look like anything or doesn't show strength wise anything. I've, I've come across plenty of people in the gym like that. Um, but there has been, honestly, I feel like besides like the people that show me love in my comments or in my DM saying, Hey, you know, you know, good job for staying natural or anything in the long run, in the, the whole scheme of things, business wise, there is business wise. There honestly has been, I don't, I don't feel there has been any significant, you know, positive to, you know, being natural in the industry why because i have learned over the years and it, it just came to mind like you know like a month or so ago i've learned over the years that unless you're doing something big that's what matters the most business wise if you're not doing something big business wise you know i was selling hella programs and shit back when i was doing the nfl stuff like my business was booming for me i was making hella money back then because my name was constantly trending people want to do what I was doing I was about to make it to the pro level with no college experience doesn't didn't I don't think it mattered if I was natural or not you know majority of people that were new coming in especially how my pro day went thought I was unnatural anyways but they were still buying my shit so I was just like yo niggas pe people don't care they don't they, they honestly don't care and a lot of people are gonna say, like right now in the chat, like you don't, I don't care whether you're natural or not. I just like what you do, Teron, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? I support you. And that's the whole thing. Like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore. You know, I'm actually, it never really did. People, you know, come out and say, hey, I do this, and, you know, are supported no matter what. But, you know, back when I first started YouTube, my mind process was like, oh, I'm about to be a, the, you know, the first strongest, most athletic, natural lifter on YouTube and I'm about to blow the fuck up, which I, I, I somewhat did. But now, now I've come to the point to where you guys have seen everything that I have and I don't honestly have any more that I can really do. Like, you know, I get messages, Teron, when you going to squat uh, 800 or 700? I can't do that, bro. That shit hurts. You know what I'm saying? 630 hurts. 700, I could probably pull off like a 705 squat, but that's if I do a powerlifting program and I don't want to commit to a powerlifting program because I am, I still don't dip, make myself as a power lifter. I like to be athletic. I like to stay loose. I'd rather do, you know, other challenges or something. I, I want to do like challenges and shit because I enjoy that. Um, Jerome, when you going to bitch 600? Bro, like there's so much I can do. You know what I'm saying? There's just so much I can lift. I'm not on the other levels as a lot of these people that are on gear. And y'all expect, and a lot of y'all think that I'm on gear as well. So you think I'm just going to up the dose and be able to hit a certain amount of weight or some shit and get stronger, or bigger. Bro, if you look at all my videos, I am constantly the same throughout the years. Ever since I started YouTube. Check out to the first video I did on YouTube back to now. I pretty much look the fucking same. I've been through some levels of being a little bit more cut to a little bit to a slightly bulkier between a ten between a ten weight range from two twenty or not two twenty five to two thirty five. Since I've been I've been in between that range for like the last five to six years. You know what I'm saying? And like there's just so much I can do. There was a time when me and Goku Flex um, were lifted where I was probably a little bit more power lifter prone around that time bodybuilder power lifter and then I started with the um, and then things changed once I did the NFL stuff because when I did the NFL stuff I realized that I was dedicating myself so much to the power lifting bodybuilding side that I was starting to lose a little bit of my athletic side and I didn't want that to happen again my body was getting tight shoulders tight hips tight and my hips are still tight I'm still trying to break those apart and become more athletic and just kind of be an all-around type of fitness person and you know that's what i've been trying to preach to everybody just being all around fitness person rather than one thing but i'm you know once again i'm realizing that you know being natural doesn't matter people just want you to dedicate yourself to one thing and pretty much you know see where you go you know i know i could blow up if i did powerlifting and you know dedicate myself to that one thing and you know possibly like break a record matter of fact i've seen the records for the powerlifting shit and i doubt that i've seen the real records for natural lifting and no for what ipf or some shit 
Like, no, nah, those guys are stronger than me. If you really pay attention to those numbers, those guys are stronger than me. And, um, like, I don't want to dedicate myself to that, you know? Like, honestly, dead ass. The, I, if I was going to pe- compete with something, it's like, I feel like the funnest thing, and you, you're probably going to make fun of it, but the funnest thing to do would probably be one of the CrossFit, whatever, CrossFit uh, games. That shit looks fun. Let me be totally honest. They get to run, lift, sprint, you know, do do uh, some, some agility drills. They get to do a lot of fun shit. Yeah, it's taxing. Yeah, it's crazy, but it's a challenge. It really pushes somebody, and I like to be pushed to the limits in that kind of way. I don't really... I like to be pushed to the limits in weightlifting, but on my own terms. You know what I'm saying? Whenever I feel like I'm good enough to just lift heavy on a certain day. Um, but, yo, honestly, man, if, you just, if you're a new YouTuber looking to come in thinking, you know, being natural, unless you're young. Now, the young crowd and the teenagers, you guys are, like, primed for YouTube because I feel like YouTubers in their teenage times, and especially being a natural lifter, or if you just look good, bro. It's just, it's, honestly, bro, people just care if you look good and they want to look like you, or they want to be as strong as you. I used to be that strong person. I'm not that strong person, you know, crazy, um, you know, from Goku Flex and lifting heavy and doing crazy shit anymore. Bro, I'm older, 20 years old, you know what I'm saying? You can't continually do a lot of, you know, things that your body could take back then. Now I'm being a little bit more wiser and trying to get into more of the functional movement stuff, but still like the heavy lifting and all. Um, but for the young people, teenage, you guys are hella like men for YouTube in this like age because the young crowd just just migrates towards people of their age. And I mean, YouTube is majority of the young people, so you guys can do really well. Now, personally, I would have probably went back in time and just not claimed anything and just not claimed anything let people think whatever and just leave it at that and just have my own pride and know that hey you know I'm still natural I'm gonna let everybody think whatever they want to um just because it's annoying I'm tired of hearing shit about it bro it's it's so annoying hearing about uh it's Ross claiming natural uh he can't be look at his body mass range and, and blah 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 like bro like I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't. I don't know what to tell you. You know, people have made videos about it, um, and I mean, a lot of you have fought for for me in other people's videos about my natural status, and I appreciate that very much. But at the end of the day, I just feel like people just want to see you be the best at something, point blank. You know, um, but that's really it, man. That's all I gotta really say. Uh, you know, what I'm saying, you know. Give me your thoughts in the comments. I haven't been posting much on this channel because I've been focused on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash aftermath and my um, reaction. I have a reaction anime talk gaming channel that I've been kind of putting my energy on. I don't know what's going on with my YouTube channel right now. The algorithm or something is like really off and I can't put my hand on it, but I am actually rebranding myself and what I stand for and everything um, for this channel. So I'm just kind of um, jotting down ideas and stuff to where I can get back in the uh, algorithm for YouTube, um, keep this channel alive and going because I will make this channel get over a million subscribers. I don't care if it takes me five, 10 years, I will have this channel over a million subscribers, point blank. I am pretty sure that my next channel is gonna blow past this channel. I guarantee that my gaming anime that channel is gonna fucking fly past this channel but I'm still gonna get both channels to a million YouTube subscribers I'm not giving up on it um, so bear with me I'm still here to you know for you guys still here to you know what I'm saying support you know your every, you guys in the fitness help you guys continue to better yourselves um, and you guys help me better myself and um, yeah, yo, so let's just get this going, man. You already know. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you like gaming, anime, and, and um, gaming, anime, and reactions. Follow my other channel. Link will be in the description. Much love. Catch you guys later. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you got to do what you got to do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.